to the start of our batter, yeah? Okay, so that's the um, green, isn't it? Yeah, our green peg. Our blue peg's in the centre of the wall, yeah? The tail of the wall was the red pegs, okay? So the inside toe, inside and outside toe. It's a bit confusing because sometimes we'll say the back of the damn wall, but we, we don't actually mean the end, we mean the end. Sorry, but that's, yeah, sometimes we confuse people. But basically, this is the core trench or the keyway here, okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. The keyway is along the wall. He's, he's in the centre of the wall, where we dug the bottom trench, okay, the exploratory digging, is we're going to put the keyway through there, so it's directly underneath that blue peg line. So which one there is going to be underneath that? That's got to be our best clay. If you're limited for clay, it's going into the core of your wall, to the centre of your wall. So that's our finished height, right, the top of the wall. Now this distance from the high water mark, the orange pegs, yeah, to the top, right, of the finished tile of the damn wall, there to there is the freeboard. Okay? And what's that normally? Uh, look, it's a minimum 750 mil of big attachment, you're gonna bring it up to a meter. Okay? Alright. Um, yeah, on a big catchment you'd want a meter, right? Uh, Where was I? Uh, think, think of a freeboard. When, if any of you guys are in the boats, the distance between where the boat sits in the water and the top of the, I'm not a boat person, but the top of the boat, right, is the freeboard. Yeah. Okay, so think about that. So it's actually doing the same thing. It's a great analogy. Yeah. yeah. So that's how you, how you think of it. Okay. Alright, um, what else are we thinking about? Any other questions? Um, with that stepping on, you've got it on the, yeah. So, we wasn't Paul putting that on the face of the... Yeah, we we're, we're, we're going to do it on, on either, on the east and west, or north and south, sorry. Yeah, well, not on the batter, we, because we want to keep flat gradient on the on the wall proper itself and we were talking about if we have to we've got two options we can either bench it out so do this pattern into the sides okay not where the water is going to enter from potentially this dam overflowing into it but we can we can do that tail back like a tap pole shape going back up to, the, to that strainer if we have to all right other questions? If we're chasing material, well, two reasons. If we're chasing material, but sometimes, okay, sometimes like on that side of the dam, so that's north, right, you could actually become a bit funky. If you put a bench, you've got a planting edge. So you've got more edge one, you've got more edge in surface area. So you've gained material, but you've got a planting edge that you can put topsoil and plant aquatic species. Okay, so that's going to give you, so you, you know, your more shallower aquatic species, and then you go into things like lilies, which only go to 2.4 anyway. But it's going to give you a variation in a species that you're going to choose how submersible they'll grow from. Okay. Well, look, it could be, yeah, yeah, it could be, some but it has that dual purpose. Some of your dams will be almost for aquatic systems. Yes. You know, so if you're if you're breeding trout in there or you're breeding other things, you're going to focus on the biodiversity and the vegetation aspect as much as anything else. And you might even put an island in the middle of the dam, as odd as that sounds. Yep. Any other questions? No, um, you mean level across here? Uh, I think the way Charles has drawn it actually is, is works right because if this outlet is lower than this inlet, even though that water could be lower than here, it can siphon. It'll siphon. You could siphon it. If it, if it obviously if the 
that runs out of water, you can actually reprime it and siphon it out. Everyone understand siphon? Yeah. 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 International siphon. You know, petrol. <laughs> oh, okay, I've got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Anton's going to do a demonstration. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. Good, because I hate it. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 So when I say prime it, you'd have to fill it full of water. To so oh, if, it, if, the, if it got empty of water, that's all. It's like putting a, a pipe over a damn wall. If you wanted to put a pipe over in there, you'd have, first have to fill it full of water, or lay it in the dam, pull it full of water, cut both ends, hold one down, get that lower, and load it out. Exactly what we do with our fire. Just low tech. You have to have it exactly the same height because water's going to level itself. And if one's lower, and if you have an air gap in there, you've lost your siphon. Yeah. But traditionally, they do something like this. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Which has its issues. Yep.